Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be installing a stove, three prong, three prong wire into a stove. And we're just gonna be making sure uh, all the wires or the voltage is correct. This is not a how-to video that when I'm a professional. I'm just a DIY. I've done this before, so so don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon, so we can buy more tools, make more tool review videos. That's the way YouTube runs your platform by subscribers and likes. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna have. Oh, this is the style I have. I have the three prong, so you guys see it there. Um, it's only three holes. So uh, well, how we make sure we have that is that you have you need a multimeter. You can get a cheap multimeter. Um, I got this from Harbor Freight. Obviously, there's better ones out there. Um, so if you're an electrician, obviously you're gonna buy. Um, what what I do here is just said just put it to on and then just put it to 220 250 AC. That's AC means the house voltages. DC means the car, uh, the 12 volt car batteries. But DC is uh, up to 250. Or AC, I mean my, my band. So it's AC up to 250, as you guys see there. I'm gonna do this one-handed. I know it's you're not supposed to be doing this one-handed. I'm gonna try to do it one-handed. So I'm gonna put it here. This one's supposed to be a hot, and this one's supposed to be a hot, and this top one's supposed to be a neutral. So this top one's the neutral, hot, and hot. All right, so when you put here from the neutral to one of the hots, it's supposed to have 120 volts if you put a hot and a hot together you're supposed to have 220 volts or more so all right let's hook up one of the one of these sides and we'll see what we have so there's one and there's another one and we have 120 volts all right and then we can hook up the other side leave that one the, the middle one All right, so we got the other side there and sometimes you have to shake them a little bit so you can get the all right we got 120 volts on the other side all right we're gonna take one out from here and then we're gonna put it on the other side all right so we're at the two hots there it reads 246 volts which is normal so you guys see we are the two hot so we're just making sure it's correct Obviously, we're not electricians or anything. We're just checking. Um, I heard horror stories where people installed. Well, this is a new install, by the way. Um, I heard horror stories where they put the 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 hot on the on the neutral, and they burned their appliance, their circuit board. So, yeah. I heard, like I said, horror stories where they actually burned the circuit board of their stove or their appliance or whatnot, and then you have a dead appliance. You're down a few bucks there. So that's why I like to double check my, my if, especially at a new install like this. This is a new kitchen, by the way. If you guys don't know, I've been working on this kitchen remodel here at my house. It's a small studio. So, um, you know, I recently painted this, this door. This door is an old door. I had a doggy door in there. I just sealed it. And I have a lot of equipment, I know. But basically working on this remodel. Um, I'm, this is, this was, well, this is part of my house, but it's just a, a remodel I'm doing. And I haven't filmed any videos on this because um, most of it, I've just been trying to rush it because uh, my mom's moving in and I've just been trying to rush it. But yeah, this is all new, remodeled. The kitchen's new. We haven't uh, had, a, we didn't have a kitchen here before. This is a three prong wire. It's just, I'm not going to put it in there obviously because it's going to have electricity. But yeah, that's, that's the way it looks. And that's the way it looks right there. So, and on the other end, you got a three-wire 
Obviously the middle one's gonna be your neutral. All right, when you get in the back of the stove um, or the appliance, most of these are different. Some of them will have a little, a little cover like this, or some of them will have a big cover like this. So this one did have two screws here, so two screws and then you just pop this out. And here's the screws that I took out. And here's going to be what you're going to be looking at most of the time. So you're going to be looking at the red. It's going to be hot. The white's going to be neutral, which is the middle one. And then the right side is going to be hot. So a red and black are hot. Just keep that in mind. Don't mix and match them because you will ruin the appliance. All right, so on here you got three different prongs or three different um, obviously the middle one's going to be the middle one is going to be the, the the neutral and your two sides are going to be your hots you guys look at the wire here the middle one's your neutral the right the left one's the 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 hot the right one's the hot so that's the same way it is here and it doesn't matter if you mix the the red and the and this one you can put it like this or you can put it like this it doesn't matter as long as the middle one is in the middle one and then the the two on the sides so we'll go ahead and do that we have to put it through this hole because that's the way all right this stove did come with this this is for the wire here This is so it doesn't pinch when it goes against here. It doesn't rip the, the wire. And it'll hold it in place in case it gets pulled. We'll put this afterwards. So we'll put this here, like I said, the two on the sides and the one on the middle. All right, we're gonna put in the, the nuts here. Yours may have some screws like this. Um, this one does have nuts, so that doesn't make any difference. So all you have to do is just screw this on. And screw this on, like I said, hot. The one to the right, the further one to the right. The middle one has to be in the middle. The left one has to be on the left. Or you know the left on the on the left. So it, like I said, these two doesn't matter, you can mix or match. And they, they don't have to be very they just have to be tight enough. Just tight enough, not over tight. I'm gonna put this towards the the inside. It's gonna be then the outside. I'll just put this on the outside in case. Tighten this up a little bit. And what that does, it just protects the wire from um, being um, cut by this uh, lament or this piece of metal here, the sheet metal. So it does protect the wire. So when you pull it like that, it doesn't, or when you move it, it doesn't, you know, break and, and cause a, a fire. But anyways, we already installed this, so we're gonna install the, so you get your cover. This one has some tabs here and some tabs here. You put in the tabs and then you bring it up.
put in the wires or the screws. We have our wire installed. All right, what I like to do is I like to get close to where I'm gonna put the stove with the appliance and then just connect it. All right, once it's connected, you can bring the plans in. Sometimes what you have to do is the wire is really short. You have to uh, put the plans halfway in and then connect it. It actually had a rubber stop in there and it was preventing the stove from being flush into the countertop. So we have the stove installed. I know this regard the door. The door's not going to be used. Um, it's just there for decorations for the window. I was actually going to seal the door because we have other doors here. But I was just going to seal the door. I was going to seal the door, but I decided to just keep it just in case. You know, we might use it in the future. But yeah, this regard the door, the door's not gonna be used. That's not the door that goes in here. That's uh, an external door. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what the kitchen looks like for now. And it looks like the stove is working. We haven't blown it up yet. So, we got the light. Obviously, we need to um, prop up the, the, the foot. Um, but let's test it out, see if it works. So let's turn one of these in. All right. So we're turning one of those on. Yep, it's working. All right, let's turn that one off. Let's turn these on. I turned this one off already, by the way. Yep, it looks like they all work. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn these off. So yeah, this is not a brand new stove. This is a used stove, just to let you know. Well, just a short video. I just wanna show you guys what I'm, I'm doing. Don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.